Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'm going to show you how to do a combination EMT bend. And it's this one right down here. It's going to start at a box. And then to go into the box is what we call a box offset bend right here. And then we're going to come over here and we encounter an obstacle. So we're going to have to jump over the obstacle. And this is called a three point saddle bend. This bend is 22 and a half degrees. This bend is 45 degrees. And this bend is 22 and a half degrees again. And then, just to finish it off, over here we have another box offset bend. And both of these box offset bends are 10 degrees and 10 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna bend up another one and show you how to do it. I've taken my conduit off the wall and the first bend we're going to make will be the box offset bend right here. And, okay, so it's box offset with 3 8 inch rise. And then it says 10 degrees because we're gonna make two 10 degree bends to make this box offset. The multiplier for 10 degrees is six. And you can find that on the back of this Klein uh, tape measure. It has conduit bending multipliers. And so you can look up and you can see that for 10 degrees, the multiplier is six. So you take the, the rise, which is 3 eighths of an inch, times six equals two and a quarter. So we're gonna have two and a quarter inches between our bends. So I'm gonna make this bend first. The shrinkage for this box offset bend is zero. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're gonna do these bands first, but let me go over the overall sequence of how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna bend this one, then this one, then I'm gonna jump over and bend the 45 degree in the three-point saddle band, and then this bend, then this bend, okay? Then I'm gonna put it in the box real quick and make a mark and cut it here, and then this bend and this bend. So that's the way I like to do it. So good to go. Bend, 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 cut, bend, bend. Okay, here's your two marks right here for the box offset bend. And here's the first mark. I made it two inches, and that's an arbitrary amount. You can make it at two and a half inches. You can make it at three inches. I made it at two inches. And then the second bend is very important. It's two and a quarter between these two bands. So uh, that's the first band for the box offset, and this is the second band for the box offset. So for the first band, we'll put the, your first mark on the arrow of the bender. Okay, then you put your boot on the handle of the bender to brace it. We're going right here to 10 degrees. 10 degrees, and you take it, you spin it, you put the second mark right there on the arrow. You get, you get it right in the plane. You have to have it in the same plane. We're once again going to 10 degrees. You put your boot on the handle of the bender. Okay, so there's your box offset bend. Now we're gonna move over to the three-point saddle bend, which will be comprised of a 22 and a half, a 45, and a 22 and a half degree series of bends. And then the first mark is going to be on the center of the obstruction. Not this side, not this side. It goes to the center of the obstruction. So we're going to need a measurement of where the conduit starts, which is right here, to the center of the obstruction, which is 36 inches. So we're going to need 36 inches from here to here. And then it says plus shrinkage. So the first mark is the center of the obstruction plus shrinkage. And the shrinkage is 3 16 of an inch per inch of height of obstruction. So this is two and a half inches. So we're gonna clear that by a half an inch. So we're gonna need three inches. We're gonna need, we're gonna need to jump up three inches uh, from the wall to go over this. The shrinkage is 3 16 of an inch per inch of height of obstruction. So we need three inches for the height of the obstruction. So three times three sixteenths 
is 9 16 inches. This was 36 inches to here, and then we've got to add on 9 16 of an inch for the shrinkage. So our mark will be at 36 and 9 16. So I'm going to measure from that end 36 and 9 16. I'm going to go all the way around with my pencil mark. That's at 36 and 9 16. Now we have to make two outer marks on either side of that center mark, okay? And it says two and a half inches per inch of height of obstruction. So that would be three inches for the height of obstruction times two and a half. So the outer marks are seven and a half inches on either side of the center mark. So here's my center mark right here. This is the one at 36 and 9 sixteenths. And I've made a mark here, seven and a half inches this way. And I've made a mark here, seven and a half inches this way. And I've made the marks to go all the way around the conduit. So I have three marks for my three point saddle bend. This is the middle of the three marks for the three point saddle bend. You put this mark on the notch of the bender. This is a little notch right there. And that notch is for the middle bend of a three point saddle bend. And this one's gonna be 45 degrees. The hook of the bender can be pointed in either direction for this bend. Okay, so this bend is made on the notch and you gotta get the three point saddle bend in the same plane as the box offset. And so we got the notch there and we're going to go to 45 degrees right here. So you take your boot and you put it on the handle of the bender. We're going right down here. 45 degrees and you take it and you spin it. And get in the same plane. Okay. Now this bend is going to be right on the arrow. Okay, so this one's gonna to go to 22 and a half. That's right here. So uh, brace the handle with your boot, and we're gonna go right down here to 22 and a half. You take it out, switch it around. So now we put the arrow on the third mark of the three-point saddle bend, and the hook of the bender is facing towards the middle, and this is all aligned very well and we're going to 22 and a half degrees this time right here let me just go right down 22 and a half degrees and you can check it out make sure you got it right so this is the 45 degree bend 22 and a half 22 and a half so I've put the conduit in this box right here and see it's coming out real nicely this this middle mark is coming right at this mark and I'm going to take and make a pencil mark right here and take it out then you take it and you ream it out so nice get your extra piece of pipe out of the way for safety so now on this end, we're going to make a box offset pin. So I'll make the mark at two inches and at four and a quarter. Okay, so we got the mark at two inches and then two and a quarter inches between these two marks. So you got your bend like this. You take, this goes right on the arrow. And you can actually you can get it in line just like this. Just look right down. It's very nice. So hold it nice and tight so it doesn't move. And we're going to go to 10 degrees right here. Flip it around. Once again, get it nice and in line. There you go. Okay, and another 10 degrees right here. So now we have box offset bends on both ends. See, we've made a combination bend. 
box offset, three point saddle band, box offset. And they're all in the same plane. So let's go ahead and put it up. Okay, so now we have the first box offset bend, and you move right on over here, and you have the three bends of the three-point saddle bend. See, so we got the middle bend aligning with the middle of the pipe. And then here's the one that's seven and a half inches to the left, and the one that's seven and a half inches to the right. And I've put on uh, two one-hole straps, one here and one here, and Here's the other box offset bend right here. It jumps up 3 8 of an inch and goes to this box. So we got 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, 45 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees. So there you go. We're going to straight like this, right over to the other box. Now that you have your bend just the way you want it, take your cleaner. And clean off your pencil marks. Ooh, that looks so much better. The pencil marks all cleaned off. There you go. Multiple pens, all nicely cleaned off. I'll put a link in my video description for ideal conduit benders, both in aluminum and in malleable iron styles and in various sizes. I'll put a link for the Klein 25 foot magnetic tape measure with conduit bending charts. I'll put a link for the Milwaukee compact bandsaw with the three and a quarter inch opening. And I'll put a link for the Klein nine inch magnetic lighted level and the Klein digital level. Also, I'll put a link for the DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver which I'm finding to be really nice to work with. It has a surprising amount of power, plenty of power for uh, this kind of work. And I'll put a link, last but not least, for the Klein Reamer. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.